Hi. I feel like a, a smidge grainy. It happens. Oy. As you may have seen in the intro, <clears throat> I uh, I got a new thing. And it's, it's kind of cool. I'm actually really excited about it. And I wanted to do a review of it. Normally I do like an unboxing, but I uh, didn't film it. So I want to just straight up do a review. So I've been using this. Well, not the pouch. I, I have been using the pouch, but I've been using this. This is the uh, Haptic Coin Worry Stone, is what they're calling it. For the uninitiated, I, I like fidgets. I like Haptic Coins. They're made by uh, Umbery, Cody, um, Umberger, I assume, Umberger, how you say it? And uh, he just makes fantastic fidgets. The original haptic coin, this is made of aluminum. It's fine. It falls apart a lot. That's kind of a problem with it. Uh, not a huge fan of this at all. It's also pretty big for a fidget. It's hard to carry around. Then uh, next, I got the haptic coin V2 Mini, I believe is what this was called. Uh, this is titanium. It's very nice, very light. Um, and it looks like a coin. It keeps that coin aesthetic a lot more. I love this. It's great. It's just a little, like, kind of annoying. Like, the click is a little high-pitched. Then there was, uh, this bad boy, which I did a video on where I gave it a custom, like, brass black. I kind of left some spots on too long. I did a video on this. It's actually a pretty popular video of mine. A couple hundred views compared to the normal few views. And uh, this is made of copper nickel. So I love this. This is my favorite form factor of them so far. Um, it's a great place to put your fingers and you just rotate it and it clicks and it's... I, I love it. Its design is awesome uh, with the brass black. It made it look awesome. It was all really great. The other problem, it smells. You smell like you've been holding coins after you use it. Even now, my fingers already smell like it. And then I saw this the other day and um, I hadn't seen anything on it before. It just went up. It happened to be on Facebook, actually, about a half hour after it went up, um, right before a stream, I believe. And I was like, I'm, should I get it? And Brooke and Nita were like, wait, why not? Treat yourself. So I did. And this was about 80 bucks. Um, that's with shipping. And this is the newest haptic coin with a worry stone type of dish here, which uh, a worry stone, you're meant to like, kind of rub it and like run your thumb around it or just kind of play with it and it is soothing for a lot of people. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of them but I've never really had a good one. Um, I quite like this though. Uh, and then beyond that it's titanium so no gross metal smell when you hold it. You can't smell it on your hands. There's no aroma that comes off of it. It's also a very very good size. It is uh ever so slightly larger than uh, my favorite sized haptic coin and it's a little smaller than this one. I don't know if it's polished but it's, it's pretty shiny. Looks good, feels good. Click is very satisfying. It reminds me of this one but deeper. It's actually very similar to this. But I, I, I love it, the everything about it, the thickness, the heft, the, the click. It doesn't come apart. You know, this one comes apart sometimes, but it, usually a lot less because there's, there's actually a center magnet in this. The rest of these don't have center magnets. This one has never come apart on me, and this one has yet to as well. Um, it fits in a pocket well. It has heft. It feels good just to mess around with without clicking it. It feels good to click. Um, you can get a lot of clicks out of it. You can get loud clicks. You can get quiet clicks. Or you're just kind of turning it quietly. Plus, the pouch is great. Um, it's actually custom made. Umbury haptic coin. Fits right in. Closes over. The only thing I wish is that there was some sort of magnet or way to keep it closed. Um, I used to come with like these kind of generic felt bags, uh, which I think were good, uh, but I, I think something with actual branding on it is much nicer. I just liked the way this pouch is because it's like a, like a little pouch. It's microfiber cloth as well, so you can actually kind of use it to clean it. Honestly, 
I have nothing to say bad about this. It's only good things. It's machined really well. It feels really good. There's no sharp edges. I'm see the inside is the same as normal. We've got the Umbri logo. I assume laser etched in there. We've got our typical needle roller bearing. As a fidget, as far as fidgets go, just top top marks, top of the class. Uh, I've got a lot of fidget slash small metal things sitting on my shelf, and this is easily one of my favorites. <laughs> it's just great. It reminds me of the heyday of damn designs, in my opinion, when the frag came out, um, and the stainless steel triad, and those spinners. Um, it just is absurdly well done. And for 80 bucks, you know, it's, it's made in the U.S. Uh, as far as I know, it's machined in the U.S., uh, I know it's definitely designed here. Um, it ships from New Jersey. You're paying for really nice metal, <laughs> high quality metal, high quality machining. It's it's great. Um, you are paying a premium because they're not made in huge batches, and you know, getting things made in the U.S. is just a lot more expensive. I'm into it. I'm into it. Um, so I recommend it if you're into fidgets. And that's that. Hi. Normally when I do the work time breakdown, uh, I just don't care. And I'm just kind of doing it because I want to have it in the weekly vlog. I want people to be a part of it. I want people to know exactly what I'm doing in each vlog or each, each week where the vlog takes place, right? But this week I want to brag, but also give some interesting perspective. So this is the week I believe I launched my SMP server, week 137. And the total is just astronomical. Um, it's insanely high. So week 136, uh, so last week was 34 hours, and this week is over double that. Uh, I worked 4,240 minutes. Again, like 95% of this is streaming. That's 70 hours and 40 minutes I spent doing this thing I do. Only a couple of other, couple hours of it was editing. Like, but the rest of it was streaming. There is a day where I streamed for 13 hours straight. So that's like both a flex and that I do all that. Uh, but also like, it's really sad. <laughs> Return on investment, the whole like creator grind idea. All of that, I don't particularly agree with. 70 hours and 40 minutes, which uh, I literally was doing this a second ago, like like doing the math, the calculator. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, there's no way. And there is a way. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this review of the haptic coin. Um, I know people really like fidgets. If you want to hear more from me about fidgets, let me know in the comments below. Um, hope you're enjoying some of the new kind of different vlogs and just kind of doing weekly videos that aren't necessarily just vlogs. You'll figure it out. Uh, check out all my social medias linked down below. Ch obviously, feel free to subscribe here. Feel free to subscribe to my gaming channel. That's linked down below. And feel free to check out twitch.tv slash thescollegeq where I do stream every single day around uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and with that, there's also a Minecraft sub server. If you do subscribe on Twitch and link your Discord to Twitch uh, and you're in my sub only Discord chat in there um, when you do connect those two. Uh, you'll have access to the Minecraft subserver as well, which I do stream fairly often. So anyway, uh, that's all down below. Feel free to do all that, subscribe, whatever. And uh, yeah, like the video if you liked it. Favorite the video if it was your favorite. Don't forget to share the video. What? Don't forget to share the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you next week. Take care. Oh, oh, oh.